to round out the week of awesome content that we've been putting out here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel from the Gun Tight Doubles, we're going to be taking a look today at easy manipulations of the dollar defensive meta. This is going to help improve your quick passing game and sync well with some of the beaters that we've showed you earlier in the week in both our long form and short form content. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Zan from the Zaman YouTube channel. And it's been a great week of content here in the gun tight doubles here on the Zaman YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be breaking down some simple quick passing manipulations you guys can run against zone coverage and zone blitz metas, as well as some man coverage stuff as well. I think that the gun tight doubles is a very untapped offensive formation. It's very, very good. Uh, it's something that you guys can run in a lot of playbooks, but the one that we've been breaking down this week for those that maybe are just clicking onto this channel for the first time is the Minnesota Vikings. And you guys can find my Vikings offensive game plan on gridirongameplans.gg. That X nasty offense has been something that I've been in all year long and you can fuse very, very well with this particular formation. But let's not waste too much time let's start by kind of breaking down some nice little west coasty quick passing manipulations that can make zone blitzing a little bit more of a chore open up your run game and open up some of the deeper shots that we've already broken down over the last few days in our long form and short form content so we'll start off here first and foremost with a play known as curl i think that this play is really really good against two different metas at the same time we're talking the db fire 2 blitz meta as well as any mabel zone drop meta um, i really really like this so let's go ahead and set up some zone uh drops here i'm gonna go ahead and run maybe my curl flats set to five or ten blues to 25 uh and let's just go ahead and break huddle here in db fire now the cool thing about this play is that I really like it because of the upfield angle of the tight end. And we can snap the ball and immediately shovel this out to the outside. Utilizing the tight end is not only a vertical pull for our quick throw to the flat, but also potentially is a roadblock and a lead blocker for this play. So again, as you kind of pay attention to this, you see how the tight end is kind of taking away the vert hook. The flat is going to take away the outside flat zone. This is something that if your opponent is not manned up or keying the running back right away, this is a really easy makeshift screen that you guys can use and pick up some blocks. You see right there that if you have the phenom, this is something that if you break a tackle even, this could be a one play score against that DB fire two meta really, really quickly. So, um, you know, the first thing that you're going to notice is that this is phenomenal against DB fire two for quick passing options. It's really, really good. The other area where it's really, really nice is also against your cover three meta um, or really any zone meta or Mabel meta. And what I mean by that is we could go ahead and just streak the, uh, the B receiver and leave the running back going into the flat, or we can switch that and put the running back on a streak and the B receiver to the flat. Also keep in mind from Monday short that if you guys motion the running back streak, it straightens it out so he'll run right down the middle. If you wanna kind of do a left and right motion, you can do that as well. But the cool thing about this play is that it actually is a horizontal pull for the tight end on a curl route. And it does a really, really good job of getting into an area of the field where that outside third doesn't react as well. Um, if you were to kind of compare that to a traditional curl flat, where I were to, you know, just have this regular combo that we're typically used to when we're facing a, a you know a cover three the outside third sometimes makes a play on this also if you don't have that streak in the middle of the field sometimes the hook gets out there and you don't really like that so this play curl is really really nice in that regard in that no matter if they're running a regular zone or they're running some sort of like mabel coverage which we frequently see stuff like this all the time um where they'll play something kind of like this with a 25 a five and then hooks and stuff you're going to be able to really easily run a, a setup where you can kind of do this little motion streak, have this curl route and a flat. And you'll see just how well this holds. If that guy bites out, you throw the streak. Otherwise, you can throw the curl to the outside, space it up 10 to 12 yards really easy with this. So I absolutely love this route combo, um, especially if you're facing, you know, the DB fire meta, um, especially if they're going to lurk right here, because what you can really do with this play is kind of uh, fiddle with the user. You can put this guy on the streak. Now the user's gotta be in two spots, right? If they kind of hang out, you're gonna throw the ball immediately to the tight end off the line. That's free, right? You're gonna go right up the field. If they don't and they hang out on the tight end side, that's gonna be even more trouble because now they're in a spot where they're giving up the running back streak to the inside, very similar to the YouTube short we did earlier this week. So if they sit right here, 
you see our right bumper right down the pipe is going to be wide open. So this is a really, really good freestyle quick yardage dot. It's so annoying. You also factor in that you got these little corner routes. If they want to get cued and play a little bit of man coverage on you, you know, they'll probably tell you right away that it's man to man. We talked about the varying levels of corner routes from, you know, uh, the play flood um, where, you know, for instance, we've got this play flood where Moss is on a flat corner, but we have the actual play curl where the X receiver is on a flat corner. This is absolutely money because man to man just does not do a good job against those. So now you're in a spot where, oh, they're in man. OK, no big deal. I've got a man beating option on this play. And of course, you can always freestyle if they play man to man as well. So really, really easy for you guys to, to move the ball. If you guys are enjoying today's video. Make sure you guys do me a quick favor. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. So that way you guys are notified of all the uploads here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. We upload Monday through Friday in the mornings and we have short form content in the afternoons. Little bits and pieces of schemes that can help you guys improve your Madden game. Now, one of the things that I think is extremely underrated about this formation and in general, if you can find formations like this that behave this way, I love, absolutely love that in the play cross, we have this route to the tight end that actually kind of jams blitzing slot corners really quickly before releasing onto the pattern. Let me show this to you again. It's something that's really, really sneaky about this. For some reason in this particular play, this little crosser is so good at getting a little jam on this slot, which allows us time for this guard to be able to pick it up after the slight bump. And the cool thing about this is that we can actually scheme around this route. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So here we are in DB Fire 2. Obviously, they're going to be bringing some pressure. I can go ahead and I can streak my Y receiver. And of course, I can set up whatever route combo I want off of this as well. I could, you know, shovel the ball out to the flat like we just talked. I can run a snag combo. But what you're going to see here is I can get this little jam on this guy and then hit this throw directly over the middle. I absolutely adore this about this particular formation. It is so good. Um, obviously, a lot of players will base a line um, and press off of this. Um, so when they do this base align press, um, you'll see, go ahead and set up an example of what that would look like here. Snap the ball. You get less of that GM, but the cool thing about this is that this play action play actually does pick up dollar as well. So if they're base align and pressing you, whatever, fine. Because even though we're not gonna get that chuck on that player, what you will see actually is the pickup is, is rather nice. And you'll still be able to throw that route all the same. So I could go ahead and run something just like this little bump off that route. And of course, you know, we're, we're in a spot here where depending on what the zone setup is, we might have a corner route. We could streak the tight end down the middle. Um, go ahead and show you again. If they're going to play standard off alignment on this, you're going to get those little chucks every single time. Otherwise, you can kind of set up something just a little bit like this. Uh, and, you know, you see you got that throw directly in the middle, depending on what the user does. I understand that I'm not control the, controlling the user uh, on defense, but as you can imagine, if that user does kind of hang out in the middle of the field here, uh, you're going to be in a spot where you're probably throwing the corner out to the B receiver. So you can kind of set something up just like this, snap the ball, and then you see, you know, throw this ball right here. So DB fire, easy. You know, you got these little manipulations. Now, the other thing that I do want to talk about before we round this off is that that is not the only chuck that is found in this formation. So let's stick kind of with that DB fire uh, real quick. We'll, we'll take a look at curl again. I want to go back to curl. Uh, and what you'll note with this is that actually the tight end does a lot of bumping into guys too. And that's going to help you with, you know, just kind of disrupting the blitz meta out of dollar. Um, in general, players do tend to struggle when players are bumping into routes, right? Um, that could actually work in the offense's favor quite a bit. So in a lot of cases, you'll note that sometimes the tight ends will jam. Uh, other times they don't, no big deal. You see right there, we didn't get the blocks that we were looking for up the field, but it's not the end of the world, right? Uh, but in a lot of cases, you do actually get uh, examples of, you know, the, the tight end kind of getting a chuck on a player before he runs the route. See right there, there it was kind of jams him, allows the tackle to respond. We can throw the ball right down the middle, or if the user guards that, then we throw the curl to the tight end that we talked about at the start of the video. So again, you see right here, the tight end on this little curl, he gets an actual shoulder chuck animation to kind of delay him and allow the offensive line to retarget. And again, now we have the inside out combo. If this is the user, Sean Taylor, and he's hiding on the seam, we're gonna throw the ball to the tight end. If he hangs out on the outside, we're gonna split the middle. 
just like we talked about in the short on Monday. So there you guys have it. A lot of unique ways to kind of handle the blitz out of the gun tight doubles. This handles the DB fire meta very, very well. Attacks the zone coverage meta that a lot of players will drop off of that as a complimentary zone coverage call. And uh, we're moving the ball very, very effectively. You guys should be able at this point to pair some of the quick pass manipulations in this video with a lot of the heavier coverage oriented beaters that we've done over the course of the week. This is a great offense that fuses very, very well with my comprehensive X nasty offense that is on gridirongameplans.gg. Hope you guys enjoyed this week of content. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Maybe I can do some more game plan oriented YouTube weeks in the future, especially as we head into the spring and summer months, I could get some exposure to some other formations that maybe are untapped potential for the rest of the Madden 23 season and maybe start getting some things in your minds heading into uh you know that madden 24 hype season so make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video we'll see you guys on monday with our next video upload until then this is zan get in the lab and good luck